graphics are getting incredible in video games. So let's talk about the top surf on the market right now. Hi folks, it's your friendly neighborhood gamer and today we bring you the 5 games with the best graphics in 2023. Starting off with number 5, Stray. This game is relatively modest in terms of next gen graphic features, but it makes up for it in fantastic art direction. This indie hit has some of the most amazing looking environments that are both expansive yet intimately detailed while also running silky smooth on both consoles and PC. Stray is a well-optimized game, which isn't something you normally see with every indie out there. So the fact that they really put in the work to make this game run well on older systems is a pleasant surprise. The game looks incredible. Some of the larger city environments are so dense with detail and color that it can be almost overwhelming. At number 4 is A Plague Tale, Requiem. On the opposite end of the spectrum is A Plague Tale. This game requires a beastly machine to run at a solid 60 frames per second, and on next-gen consoles, it's still locked at 30, which is a little disappointing. But the cinematic gameplay makes it so that Twitch reflexes aren't really a priority, so it's not too difficult to adjust to its gameplay. The frame rate isn't the best on consoles, but everything else is absolutely stunning. Every environment feels like a painting come to life, be it beautiful and pastoral, or disgusting and rat-infested. Special mention is given to the rats in the game, which can be seen in what seems like almost incalculable numbers at times, flowing through the world like water during some of the biggest set-piece moments of the game. It's this crazy surreal effect that had to have taken an obscene amount of work to get right. The world looks fantastic and the character models are also amazing. At number 3 is Ghostwire Tokyo. Set in an impeccably modeled version of Tokyo's Shibuya district, Ghostwire Tokyo is both fantastic in terms of visuals and its unique sense of style. On top of the flashy and surreal visual effects are some amazing graphics that include ray-traced reflections and really making the rain-drenched city streets pop. Everything in this game is just so precisely detailed and rendered. The outdoors look fantastic, but the indoors especially can almost feel real at times with all the incidental details. Well, that's as long as there isn't a monster on screen or some ridiculous collectible that can't exist in real life. Or can it? At number 2 is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Say what you want about the quality of the game, but you really can't deny how impressive the game looks. I have to say this, and it might be a little nitpicky, but I don't really think it's quite as impressive as the 2019 Modern Warfare. But that's a crazy high bar to clear. And while this game doesn't quite reach those heights, it's still incredibly good looking. The gun models are all time best in the business. The character models are all scanned from real actors and animated amazingly well. The environment itself is absolutely stunning. The game's more open approach is probably why we don't necessarily see photorealism. There's more going on at any given time, more space, more stuff, more people, but it also serves the game well in some of the best levels. It legitimately looks real at times and it doesn't have to use the previous game's crutch of darkness. It's just one of the game's many highlights with a varied and exciting campaign filled with some incredible looking levels. It's a game where they strive for virtual realism at times and while it does not always pull it off, you can always see the money on the screen. And finally number 1, God of War Ragnarok. The PlayStation had a great year, but they of course saved the best for last in both artistic and technical aspects. God of War, I mean really the whole series relative to its time period, is always an absolute masterpiece, visually speaking. But in this game, it's incredibly detailed character models, environments, beautiful effects, all of it really comes together to make something amazing. Everything looks incredible in this game from the lavish cutscenes to the most subtle moments and it all runs at a rock solid frame rate. It goes to show you how far solid art direction and technical prowess can really take your game. But wait, to build games like the ones mentioned in our list, you need the right ally. Fret not, we have your back. With 250 experts on our roster and over 100 AAA projects in our kitty, 300 Mind is your one-stop shop for all your game development needs. That's all for today. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. As always, I thank you very much for watching this video. This is your friendly neighborhood gamer signing off. Adios.